All right, we're going to talk about a little Adrian Broner today. And the the state of Adrian Broner. Uh, I typically don't make a lot of uh, videos that are positive pertaining to Adrian Broner because um, his lack of care, his discipline for the sport, um, drinks, parties. He's a, a, he, acts, he acts like a fool in public. He ain't got no self-training, no respect gets online cuz it's just I just I don't believe him. I don't believe what stuff that he's saying, anything. And if he don't take take his craft seriously when it comes to boxing, if he don't care, I don't care. But for the first time, and I noticed this before this video, he showed this video, for the first time Adrian Broner actually looks pretty good as far as just his mental state and his his body. It looks like he really he ain't he ain't trying to he's not trying to uh uh I don't know, uh, overexert himself to make weight because he got a fight coming up. Uh, looks like he's he's comfortable at his weight. He ain't been uh, stressing and straining. He been doing it pretty easy, and he's focused. It seems like he's focused as far as his getting his weight down, and he and and, and it's good. But I want to show you this. Now, why I let your body get like this? I know life gets in the way, man. You want to party, but he's 34 years old. I thought that was, he was going to end that stuff back when he was like 28, 29. And it just continued. He had to lose everything. So he he tweeted. Hold on. Let's, 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 let's keep the video going real fast. Now, we know he always bounces back and he gets his body in shape. He look, but something about him this time is different. And I'm going to show you. Let's read this. Y'all probably wonder why I kept posting pics of my body, and it's because I know where I came back from. I went from drinking every day, down and out, and once everybody turned their back on me, it only put me in, put me more into depression. And on a drinking bitch, then I got a call from my baby bro, Gervonta, and he told me, come do camp with me. And I've been on track ever since. And he's been pushing me every day. So with that being said, I just want to thank you. Tank, thank Tank as a man and as a real, you know what? Let's get what these mother effers deserve out of this boxing stuff and laugh together on an island at the end. See, uh, Adrian Broner is one of them guys that he needs somebody to motivate him in a position that Javante Davis is in. Giovanni Davis is a superstar. Javon, uh, Adrian tried to get that from Mayweather, but it, it was pissing him off because Adrian Broder kept falling off track, and it seemed like he was lashing out at Mayweather. You supposed to call me. You don't call me. I'm supposed to be baby bro. If I was baby bro, you would check on me. He needs somebody to hold him accountable for his actions. Unfortunately, he, he's not a self-motivated type of a person. And then when those people are, aren't around, he's around all the wrong type of people in his circle. They drink, smoke, party. They really don't care. And so you are who you hang around. In Adrian Broner's case, that was the truth. He is who he hangs around. And don't nobody want to hang around no losers. That's why his friends left. Or the people, maybe they's not his friends. That's why the people in his circle left. Adrian wants to be around winners. That's why he was trying to be around winners. Everybody, he wanted it to rub off on him. So, let's take a look. Tank don't need nobody to have self-motivation. He's He motivates himself. Look at Adrian. Adrian want to be around for the, you know. Look how Adrian's looking at him. That was a good admiral thing that Javante did. Now look at that. The whole aura of, of Adrian Broner is different. You see how Gervonta's turned up? Adrian Broner's not turned up like that. I'm not saying he can't do it. 
He's cut up, man. Look at him. He look good. He ain't acting like no kid. He acting like a grown up. Maturity. So, when I seen this right here, I already knew. I said, man, something about Adrian a little different. Watch how he answers his questions. Now, this the Adrian I like to see. Win, lose, or draw. But now I, I need him to stay focused even after this fight. Um, he fights, uh, what's some dude named, uh, what is it, Blair Cobb or something like that. Blair Cobb or whatever. Go in there, get you a nice victory. And don't just do this with camp. You know, I would... You got it. You got Javante's uh, number, whatever. I would tell him, man, let, let's stay. Let's because uh, Javante works out uh, outside of camp. He'll stay. He stay in the gym too. Broner can tag along. He can use his friends, leaving him as his, a chip on his shoulder. But you know, this is it for him. He's thirty four years old. There ain't no. You can't. Ain't no more do overs. You fall off the horse this time. It's over. It's over with. I hope he understands his mission. He didn't lost a lot. His kid, I think he was married at one point. Lost her. Uh, cause he's part. It's mad decisions, man. Javante, and see, like I say, at one point, uh, Javante wasn't as big as Adrian Broner, and I made a video. I said. Tank Davis needs to get away from Adrian Broner because Adrian Broner had money still. He was partying. It was just it was just not a good uh, good for Javante to be around Adrian because it could have rubbed him the wrong way. He, and he wasn't around him. So once Adrian Broner, you know, fell from grace, ain't that crazy how it seems like now Adrian Broner needs to be around Javante Davis? I think it's a good thing. Uh, I'm hoping he can get the win and he can stay in shape. Don't balloon up. I mean, I know you got to live your life. You can't, you know, you ain't going to stay fight weight forever, but man, don't, don't, don't do it like that. Stay in the gym. Stay active. What you guys think about this, man? It's Adrian Broner. You th guys think he's, uh, you think you're going to see a, uh, finally see a change after all this, all these years? This is it for him. 